international law doctrine of continuous voyage so we will learn about doctrine of continuous voyage in war uh, the belligerent is allowed to seize the contraband goods contraband goods are those goods for example weapons and other uh, th- uh, if uh, india and pakistan are at war and uh, there are certain goods for example rifles weapons both of the country are allowed to seize each other goods this is called contraband goods but it's a certain times it happens that if suppose uh, there is a ship which is coming and uh, the uh, pakistan is importing at the time of war some weapons and they are coming from australia sea so from australia they move to japan and from then japan they come to pakistan so the pakistan is trying to divert he is trying to bring in to a neutral state so that the goods india is not a, uh, allowed to get caught hold of that goods there is a neutral country in between and the intent of pakistan is that the goods should reach safely to them but the doctrine of continuing continuous voyage overrules this it says that if there is a contraband and there are belligerent so the other belligerent is allowed to seize that good even if the goods are routed through a neutral country what important what is important is the final destination the final destination is important and the final destination determines whether the goods are contraband in nature or not whether the goods are contraband goods or not so if the goods are contraband goods the doctrine of continuous voyages apply and the goods can be seized so to sum up during the war period the belligerent states are empowered to seize the contraband goods and according to stark the doctrine of continuous voyage consists in treating an adventure which involves the carriage of goods in first instant to a neutral port first it goes to a neutral port and then to some ulterior and hostile destination first neutral and then secondly to some ulterior or hostile destination first to neutral that is japan and then to ulterior and hostile destination that is pakistan as being for certain purpose one transportation only to enemy destination with all consequences that would attach where the neutral port not interposed means all the consequences would be attached had it been uh, not been the journey to neutral port that is japan so what are the consequences it would be deemed that the goods never went to japan and the all the consequences all the authority to seize those goods will be over there this is the definition of stark so according to the principle of contraband objective things which may assist the enemy in conduct of war may be seized by the belligerent state so objective things which may be assist which may assist the enemy in conduct of war may be seized by uh, any belligerent state can seize them in order to escape the enforcement of this principle or rule sometimes it so happen that the state instead of sending the contraband directly to the enemy states send it to a neutral state from where it subsequently transfer to enemy state this is done with the objective that the goods may not be seized as contraband by the belligerent state in order to prevent the violation of this rule of the contraband the doctrine of continuous voyage was propounded according to the doctrine if ultimate destination of good is enemy state or territory then such contraband goods may be seized no matter whether they are first sent to neutral state or are subsequently to be transferred to enemy state so in the eye of law it is considered that it was a con- continuous voyage that is to say it is deemed in eye, eye of law as if neutral state never interposed japan never came neutral state never interposed 
कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ सीजर ऑफ कॉन्ट्राबैंड गुड्स इन अकॉर्डेंस विद डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ कंटिन्यूस वॉजेस विल बी सेम एज दैट ऑफ सीजर ऑफ कॉन्ट्राबैंड गुड्स द डॉक्ट्राइन ऑफ फेमस कंटिन्यूस वॉयज वॉज एक्सपाउंडेड इन वेरी क्लियर टर्म बाय लॉर्ड स्टूवेल इन फेमस केम इन मारिया एटीन सो द फेमस केस ऑफ द मारिया लॉर्ड स्टूवेल expounded this law besides that during the civil war of america supreme court of uh, america also contributed much to the development of doctrine of continuous voyage so this is what doctrine of continu- continuous voyage the voyage will be considered continuous it is related to the seizer of contraband good it will be considered uh, the final destination would be considered will the sole criteria in determining whether the contraband is a contraband or not the middle states or the neutral state which come in between does not matter thanks